Thank you, friends. All of you came to attend this press conference. Thank you once again. On behalf of Andhra Pradesh Commuter Social Association, I have to present few my views. As all of you, you must be knowing that in Andhra Pradesh and especially Hyderabad, people face a lot of problems because photo is not available. Even if they are available, they charge higher amount. They don't run on motor. They don't run on the meters. Earlier, we had manual meters which were prone to manipulation. But last year, government forced this water people to switch to digital meters. Now this meters cannot be tempered. But what happens now? They straight away refuse to apply the meters. This is a problem that we commuters are facing all around the country, not only in Hyderabad. And recently, very recently, in the month of May, the government of Tamil Nadu had come with a new move, a very effective step they have taken. And I believe that all of you must be knowing that there is a ban on new models. If you want to buy a new model on the road, you can't do it. Because government restricts the number of auto research on the road. In Bangalore, they have allowed certain project models, whereas in Hyderabad, this number is only 64,000. And this number is same since last 10 years. Because there are less number of autos on the road and demands keep on increasing, we find less numbers of autos on the road. And as you know, that prices are always dictated by, dictated by demand and supply. As supply is less, demand has been increasing, so we don't get autos. Recently, while talking with a few auto people, we found that in Hyderabad, autos are sold in black. If you have a license, you can sell your license at one rent rupees. So, an auto driver who buys an auto at an exorbitant price, maybe double the price, he has to pay daily rentals that could be double. Because of that, he is forced to charge more. Because his expenses are on a higher side. Recently, Tamil Nadu government came with a very brilliant move and they removed totally the ban on the new auto licenses. In Tamil Nadu now, anyone can apply for an auto license and can start running in anywhere in the Tamil Nadu. Only condition they have put that in Chennai they have to, they have to apply, they must do it on LTC. They cannot use any other fuel, only in Chennai. Other than that, they can use any fuel in Tamil Nadu. Besides that, as we know, this because of no availability of the autos, we computers face a lot of problems, especially women. They find it difficult to go in the crowded buses. They find it difficult to drive themselves. And ultimately, depend, depend on the autos, they exploit like anything. So we request under this government, especially transport minister, to remove ban on new auto licenses. This is first. Second thing is, we also request them to introduce or they will also remove ban on what you got call motorcycle taxes. <coughs> As per our study, our survey, 50% of the times autos are used by a single passenger. This can be very well be done by the motorcycle taxes, as you might have seen in Goa, Goa and so many other countries. So we recommend, we request government to remove ban on auto exhaust and also introduce motorcycle taxes. Now I request you to come with your questions and inquiries. With the number of autos increase in our city, what happened to the traffic system, what happened to the pollution? Is number of auto increasing the solution to the problem? Yes, it is going to solve the problem because if you don't get auto, you will drive your own vehicle. And your own vehicle will add to the parking problem that they are already facing. And auto driver will leave you and go back and hire another passenger. But you will use your own vehicle and park somewhere. And the roads that are already narrow have become narrower, narrower because people will park their vehicle on the road. So it will definitely going to decrease the number of privately owned vehicles. And ultimately it will ease the traffic condition. Uh, considering uh, one of 
fact that you said that the auto drivers get used to install digital meters. It goes on to show that the auto unions have become mafias on their own, they form groups and gangs on their own. So do you think government should heavily deal with auto unions? They should see to that such unions are not formed. It is not that they are, they are not using these digital meters. They do have digital meters, but they don't fly. Even in Tamil Nadu, they have meters, but they never use it. I keep on telling Tamil Nadu so many times, but they never use these meters. The thing is because you don't have any option. You can't go to any other auto and hire it. You are forced to get it. When supply is more, when for one passenger there are 10 autos, they will definitely come forward and uh, take you. Because they know if I go to go, he tells them not to. Because of that, there is an artificial shortage and that need to be removed. Yes. So do you think uh, improving public transportation or uh, imposing fines on auto drivers who don't use meters is a better solution than you know, just increasing the number of autos on the roads? As per economics, there are three things. Demand, supply and price. You can control any two. You cannot control all three. So you cannot control demand, supply and price. So if you remove the restriction on the supply, price will automatically go down. What do you think uh, improving public transport like buses and uh, train connectivity, metro train would be a better solution? Yes, definitely that is a better solution. In, in, in a city like Mumbai, where they have a good train system, in Delhi, where they have a good metro system, still they need autos. Uh, this you are assuming for a fact that the supply of autos increase, the transportation will reduce. They are not considering the fact that the convenience of the people that are taking the cars will go convenient and no matter how less the auto price goes, cars or using cars or uh, let's, let's say motorcycle will still be cheaper than paying the auto fare. So how do you deal with that uh, situation? Convenience and uh, the overall price are let people decide what they want. If they want to use their own car, let them let them use it. If they want to use two wheeler, let them use it. Now people roads are not available, many people they are forced to first to buy their own vehicles, on four wheelers, on, on, on two wheelers. So let the people decide whether they want to take on their own car, on the road. And one last question, because I can see the red flag. In Chennai, we say that the land is not removed, but there is still a ban in Abdulbar, Bangalore and other cities that you say. Why do we actually have the ban in the first place? In these yes, there, must, there, must be, there must be a reason why there is a ban on having Limited number of autos in these cities. That's why we demand that then on all of the Hyderabad must be paid. That is what we are demanding in this complex. Thank you, all of you. And again, I repeat the Hyderabad Commuters Association and Andhra Pradesh Commuters Association demand Andhra Pradesh government that they must remove ban on the auto rickshaws. It will help all to move freely and it will ease the difficulty faced by commuters, especially women, women trader. Thank you.